Right. We've got German and Italian forces attacking the airfield. Now lads are on their back foot. We need to find a way to hit Jerry and his mates from the flank. We're going to push him back. Hell yeah, we are. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to our first look at the full release of Company of Heroes 3. This episode is sponsored by the publisher, Sega. So if you'd like to know more, make sure you click and tap that description and find the link down below. Finally, we get to go to North Africa and Italy with all new factions and returning ones that have been revamped as well. Uh-oh. Engineers taking losses. Not good. All right, let's retreat our forces as soon as we gain control. So now we have a linear campaign and a dynamic campaign, both in North Africa and Italy. We also have Italian forces joining the Africa Corps, and all of these factions play quite differently, yet also very familiar from previous games and also to each other, so it's easy to learn and difficult to master at the same time. All right, let's go ahead and reinforce our forces here. This is a little bit of a tutorial mission that's available in some of the previous betas that we played. Uh, I played, of course, the multiplayer beta where this was present, and also some other betas with the United States and some linear missions taking place in, uh, I believe, Italy as well. So, interesting to see what we have to unpack here. All right, we retreated, we reinforced. Right, that's fair. Now, Jerry's got control of the airfield, though, so no position. slacking off. We need to build up our forces and get this place back under our control. You got it. First up, we're going to need resources. Capture that munitions point. All right, so we're gonna capture that munitions point. It'll soon be done. We'll decap Capture and then cap. That point will take a little while. Don't get bored and wander off like last time, Nige. Hey. Ah, yeah. On the surrounding area, though. No telling when Jerry will pop his head back up. The British forces in this game are probably the most comedic, followed by the Germans, who are somewhat uh, more direct with the the Yavul Herr Commandant, but then also some jokes and such too about the Africa Corps. And, uh, yeah, all sorts of unique voice lines and voice acting. That's what made Company Heroes great for me in the original. I really appreciate that. All right. Well done, lads. Now, as much as I love to go one-on-one -on -one against Jerry, we're going to need more units to push him off the airfield. Let's get ourselves some more engineers. All right, let's build an engineer unit. We have the ability to kind of pan and rotate the camera. Wow, that's kind of nice. We can go all the way down to uh, almost like... A Almost first person, or at least third person. Royal engineers trained and ready to go. All right, more units on the way. We're ready. Time to march, Boyle. All right, now to Command capture a fuel point. Time to bring it to the Jerry's. Royal engineers. The fuel point's our next target. Jerry's all set to defend it, so please use cover and try not to get yourself killed. <laughs> you got it. So we're moving to heavy cover here, and of course, light cover will be indicated, I think, with yellow. Green cover is heavy cover, and then I think no cover is where we are basically like in a red shield. So it looks like we have the Italians here. Yeah, the uh, Briscolari squad, kind of an anti-infantry mainline rifle squad that can be called in with the Africa Corps as kind of a bonus via doctrines. All the factions get different doctrines that allow them to specialize in infantry, armor, or airborne, or support. Nice Pretty cool. One, They're on the run already. Now, like let's get in there and finish order. capturing that fuel point. All right, let's capture that fuel point indeed. We're going to move to that yellow cover. Looks like, yeah, we can also capture supplies here. So a lot of missions feature that where to give you a boost in combat, they'll have things like munitions, fuel, and uh, possibly weaponry too. So things like, for example, anti-tank rifles or bazookas, or even like um, maybe even uh, machine guns, LMGs, Bren guns, that type of thing. And the ability to also reinforce those guns. A lot of those features, all the classic stuff from the original uh, Company Heroes and Company Heroes 2, the good things, I think, have been mixed in here to try to create something new uh, with the addition of the linear and dynamic campaigns as well. So the classic stuff that we love and new stuff as well. I've enjoyed what I've played so far in the previous betas. Okay. Okay, nicely done. Right then, lads. We need to expand our base and get ourselves a section command post. That'll give us access to a wider variety of troops. Then we can get after Jerry. All right, let's do it. Now, uh, in the previous games, you'd have to retreat with your engineers in order to build stuff. But in this case, we can actually construct directly from the HQ. So no longer do you have to return to base with an engineering squad and build things. You can just do it right out in front of the base. We can also rotate, too. So if we want to, we can like hold left-click and rotate things any direction we want to or build much closer to the front line. But I like to build a pretty base, so... But what I do like is that the engineers actually will kind of dig. You see a hole and then all the structures going up. Yeah. So you'll actually see like framework being popped in. And also something that a lot of people wanted for a long time. Buildings will show when they're actually producing something. 
So now when you're actually going to create an engineer squad, yeah, you see the barrel light up there. And of course, no other way to make an engineer or to engineer infantry than like forging them. Apparently there's a forge inside there that's uh, yeah, producing a unit, smelting iron in order to do it, I suppose. Well, those guys definitely had uh, hearts right, of iron for sure. We should be able to move up to the airfield now. If we do get into trouble, we can always come back here and produce more troops. Let's hope we don't need to. I agree, sir. All right, two engineer squads, Royal Engineers, and a line infantry squad pushing up. And we have rifle grenades, too. Now we need to capture the east side of the airfield. Jerry's dug in behind sandbags this time. Do yourselves a favor and use cover as we advance. Let's keep those noggins bullet free, all right? Oh. Ah, yes, we can also tactically pause in single player, which is kind of nice. So if you'd like to, we'll kind of show an example of this. We'll tell our people to first walk up to cover and then fire a rifle grenade at these Italian troops here. At the same time, we'll have our infantry, our engineers really, uh, move to this left side and try to seek out cover there and try to pin down these infantry on the left side. Okay, let's see if they can do it. I'll try not to make any changes to the command and just see how things go. Now this, of course, is only available in uh, single player. They want us to move there, but... But I'm not exactly sure if some things could be played in multiplayer, like co-op uh, missions or whatnot. But I could definitely see it being possible, and if not, uh, definitely a great addition to this game. If it comes or if it's now available, that'd be a great thing. Oh wow, the rifle grenade being very powerful there. All right, we'll switch around to that side. Engineers are destroying a supply truck and keeping those infantry uh, soldiers heads down here. The Italian infantry soldiers are kind of pinned down. Engineers are pretty good at keeping the pressure on, but not necessarily making a push. They're okay at it, but you know you want you want to use some infantry with rifle grenades. Not the best idea to push up with them all the time, but they can definitely overwhelm a squad or yep destroy a vehicle too. They're capable. All right, infantry almost destroyed. Let's go ahead and push up now. Now another great thing about this game too is that the AI is smart enough to jump over sandbags if it's in their way. So if we tell our uh, infantry to kind of advance. Sometimes they'll jump over the sandbags if it's shorter, and that could both be a blessing and a curse, of course, as you'd imagine. All right, let's go ahead and fire off another rifle grenade. There it goes. Wow, devastating. Absolutely devastating, that squad. All right, good job, boys. Let's jump to this side of the bags. There's the example of the boys jumping over the bags like that. Definitely like that a lot. All right, let's reinforce those troops. Always eager to surf. All right, they want us now to convert okay, this to an aid post. That was the easy bit. The Western Fuel Depot is protected by armored vehicles. Regular infantry weapons ain't gonna do much against them. The good news is we can recruit abandoned team weapons like machine guns, anti-tank guns, that sort of thing. Jerry's probably got an anti-tank gun lying around here somewhere. Let's find it. Take that fuel Alright, let's do it. The friendlies are being attacked by a 223 or 222, which is a German armored car. There's a, a, a 20 millimeter auto cannon on that, so it can be dangerous to our infantry and also light vehicles. We'll hold here while we reinforce and possibly make another infantry squad, although we're at our population cap at the moment for this tutorial mission. Let's convert this to an aid post which will allow us to kind of hang out here and uh, heal up our troops. So as soon as we bring back all of our infantry to this capture zone, we can, of course, reinforce their, uh, or rather, replenish their health and without having to go all the way back to HQ. Let's get everybody stocked up there. All right, let's go ahead and capture that AT gun and eliminate that armored car. In this case, yep, you see that big old AT, or rather, yeah, the auto cannon there. We'll use AT against that. Africa Corps logo there. Pretty cool. And you can see it running. Wow, that must be one hell of an engine to, <laughs> to vibrate like that. I guess it's kind of subtly noticeable from a distance, but up close, it's funny. All right, we've got two armored cars and an engineer squad. This will be fun. All right, additional engineers have arrived. We're going to capture and advance. Capture and advance. Let's go. And are we ready? Okay, we're making the push. So, we want to push in from here. And here we go. Here go the boys. 
All right, let's have the engineer's cap. Anti-tank gun needs manning. Now that's a uh, Allied six-pounder anti-tank gun, so that's pretty good against any vehicle, including Panzer IVs. So if they bring those out, we'll be more than ready to do so. Presence and accounted for. Come on, Go ahead and jump up there, boys. Let's retreat this squad to replenish it. Follow me. Six-pounder anti-tank gun ready. Six-pounder ready to engage. Hell yeah! Right into the side of that vehicle. He's thinking about getting out of there. Not today, Jerry. Royal Engineers, ready. Come on, Tapper, get the following. Alright. Ooh, a miss. Get to cover, boys. Let's try a rifle grenade against that vehicle, see if it does damage. Back to cover. Uh, it didn't seem like it did any damage. That's the vehicles dealt with. Now, that's that point. All right, we're going to go ahead and advance now with our rifle section. Got engineers and other units around. Boy, we could really use some additional units here. Oh. Our units can also reinforce from this aid point. Excellent. So now we can really advance aggressively. And if we take losses, we can retreat more effectively. Get that AT gun up. Going to push on the, on the left flank and go in clockwise around the enemy. Clearing them from behind cover. Africa Corps troops are down. All right, shift to that left side. Draw a little bit of fire to the AT gun. While we engage these engineers. Oh, no, nope, cancel that rifle grenade. All right, right in the middle. Give it to them, boys. Oh, nice. They've got to be retreating on that one. No, they're still fighting. Alright, boys, take that right flank and let's get that other squad up here then. Let's see, we've got the Royal Engineers almost fully reinforced. Three out of four there, I think. Uh, we need... Oh, actually, we're maxed out on our manpower now, so we won't be able to fully reinforce. But let's capture some supply. And we're capturing the supply point. I believe this is supply, yeah. Looks like munitions and such everywhere. All right. Capture that strategic point. Get done. That point. Meanwhile, I see a machine gun here, which means Jerry's probably going to counterattack, so let's get to it right away. That's some cracking work, lads. Anyone would think you've been training for this. <laughs> but before you get too cocky, Jerry has two. He'll be counterattacking from the north, and we need to get prepped. Engineers, plant mines in front of our lines. The rest of you... Get the anti-tank gun in position Stafford, to stop Bolton. any incoming vehicles. And set up a machine gun to Stafford. deal with the infantry. Ready, stow that gear, I should boys. just about do it. We're going. Royal okay, so we're going to place some uh, MG, say the word. mines here. Let's get that MG back that away. No yeah, we can also direct our uh, fire of weapons. And additionally, when troops get inside buildings, Stafford, like, for example, flamethrowers or vehicles, they can also fire out multiple directions in those uh, buildings. So, for example... You have the enemy coming in from the north side and the east side. You can switch positions of machine guns that way or a possible flamethrowers on a vehicle to left or right side. All right, we're going to place three AT mines, which, uh, let's see, for the British are the uh, the modified ATGS. Uh, can snare vehicles, it says. So that means that I think it basically can stun lock them or track them in a way. All right, let's go ahead and get room for everybody here. Here he's being nice with us and giving us a little bit of time to hold the position. Get to our sappers. Get to follow it. All right, hold the storage depot. Get everybody in green cover. Let's get to it. What's the task? Like a shit through a goose. Who presents in I love the British voice lines. All right, a Vickers MG. Wow. A machine gun should keep him pinned down. Hell yeah, it is. Absolutely devastating that German infantry. We just need to hold for about two minutes now against enemy forces. Love the detail of the map, too. All those uh, metal uh, pieces that were used for airfields. Pretty much everywhere by everyone to be able to flatten it out and provide a surface that wouldn't erode, but also allowing for rainwater to go through. Well, one armored car down by hitting a mine and taking an AT hit. 
Very good job to that gun crew. Well, now we got a vehicle in our way. But I guess it provides more cover. For us, at least. The Germans really don't have a choice. They have to advance forward directly to us. Nice! Another mine went off there. Now, if we see another infantry squad, which we are bound to, we'll go ahead and launch a rifle grenade directly in their path if we can. Armored car destroyed. AT rifle a little far. The timing is key. Another armored car destroyed. Nice. And another squad eliminated. They brought in some Panzer threes. This isn't looking good. Well, I'm sure we'll get timely tank reinforcements at any moment. Good side hits on their tanks. <laughs> oh good, the cavalry. Looks like we have ourselves some friendly Crusader and Matilda II heavy tanks on the way. Hey, but our AT gun scored a kill. Nice work. Good job, boys. Nicely done. Pay attention, lazy right. Those tanks will give us the edge we need to destroy Jerry's forces. They've got artillery to the north. Taking that out should be enough to send them packing. Right. Go ahead and use reverse to get our tanks pointed in the right direction. So now the Germans are getting ready to hold enemy artillery there. A walking Stuka, essentially a uh, like giant Nebelwerfer rockets mounted on the side of this vehicle that do have the capability of destroying quite a lot, so we need to be cautious there. But we're going to attack from the far left flank here. Let's move in that way. You got it. Now, also, even though you see vehicles crumbling here from our vehicles moving through it, so we can actually kind of, like, get some pathing through these areas, especially during heavy combat, there are abilities to reclaim vehicles, too, like these armored cars, the 222s, and to be able to capture or salvage them in order to get supply from them or possibly capture the vehicle. The Africa Corps has a lot of capability to do that. Those rockets are falling somewhere. Friendly forces. Oh, wow. Being hit hard by that walking Stuka. I think it's uh, Stuka Zifus. Okay, it looks like we're fully reinforced now. Good idea to do that before advancing. Another vehicle destroyed. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll advance the vehicles up the road and try to hit the uh, Germans in the ass there. And then try to keep the infantry close to some cover and then eventually into the trenches with tanks and support. And we'll probably bring the MG up too. Need to wait for the infantry to advance. And here they come. So yeah, in addition to worrying about all the uh, on-screen threats like tanks and infantry, we also have to worry about things like off-map artillery and airstrikes that can be called in on us. Uh, lots of tactics, too, that are not lethal, like, for example, uh, smoke, which can also... Uh, oh, nice. Which can conceal movement. Look at those explosions. Pretty damn cool, man. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to push in from the south. Get our infantry in place. There we go. Yeah, I love the voice acting. It's like every vehicle, every unit type gets their own voice actor uh, with different accents from different nations and, of course, different uh, abilities. And, you know, there can be uh, several versions of the crocodile, or well, I should say the uh, Churchill, which has the crocodile and the... Uh, Black Prince variant, you know, one anti-tank, one flamethrower variant. Pretty cool. Alright, let's get the infantry up. Engineers up. Tanks up. Until the first, more armor. Got a little damage on the tanks, but let's start the attack. Alright, engineers capture. Oh boy, here come the enemy units. Hit that artillery first. Swing to the left, target that artillery. Hit him again, don't let him leave. Nice, we got them 
Mid artillery barrage. Very good. All right, infantry. Drop those rifle grenades. Go ahead and repair now. Infantry are leaving. Oh. Gotta get on this side of cover now. Yeah, boys, keep pushing. Infantry returning to their original position. Hit another artillery piece. Nice. Good job, boys. One more artillery piece to destroy. Alright, keep pushing up. Let's hit that AT gun with some rifle grenades. They don't know we're here. Oh, look at that. Thanks moving across the trench, too. Nice. Rifle grenade destroyed that AT gun crew. Right. Hit that vehicle. Go ahead and reinforce. I want to pull back this squad, but they're the only ones on the line. I also want to keep the pressure on, too. Advance across the trench. You can actually see the suspension flex too as it moves over objects. A nice detail there. You can see like each individual wheel modeled in. So the detail there is quite nice. All right, nice. We still rolling. That was cool. Vehicle crew knocked out while it was burning and yet still fighting. Oh, I want to bring the MG up. <laughs> yes! They're on the run! Good job, lads! I can't see Hitler and his mates being much of a problem in Africa. We'll be back in Flighty by Christmas, I reckon. I hope so. <laughs> nice job. All right, very cool. Good to see you all here now for our full playthrough of Company Heroes 3. The tutorial mission was fun, but now we finally get to take a look at all the uh, available features in this game upon its release soon. I say that because, of course, we're taking a little early look before its full release, so some things might change and might get a little uh, better here or some improvements to other things. And, of course, community feedback will be important as the previous titles have all been uh, basically you know, community influenced. Everybody who plays competitive multiplayer and loves the campaigns have given lots of feedback to the previous games, and that's what helps to make future games better. We have the Italian campaign and the North African operation, so I believe both of these are kind of like a dynamic campaign and kind of more a linear campaign too. We also have the ability of skirmish against the AI, so if you want to practice a little bit or if you prefer to play offline, you could do that. So two campaigns, a skirmish mode and a tutorial, which we just took a look at. Just to kind of show off some basic features and then of course the ability to also play with friends against the ai or possibly to play with friends against other friends or possibly enemies also custom game mode which allows us to play in tons of different maps taking a look at the maps here that's what i want to do the most now since so uh, i'm playing quite early there's probably nobody online in fact me and probably only a few other people have access to this but we can take a little look at some of the more finite details a little bit more we have U.S. forces, Wehrmacht, Africa Corps, and the British all here. And then if we select the Americans, we can also take a look at some of the doctrines for them. So uh, some of the things that we saw in the beta are present with the uh, airborne, the armored, and I think the like the combined arms or something along those lines. And maybe more battle groups will be unlocked in time. Uh, but if we click on these, one of actually we could choose all three to go into battle with. And then we have to pick one while we're in the midst of battle to where we can then choose a subtree within that tree so you could bring three into battle and then you can s select one during battle and then you get some things that can be used together so for example if you want to go heavy into the airborne you can get both uh, air support so things like p-47s dropping rockets and doing strafing runs and uh, recon and also paradropped infantry so you can get pathfinders heavy machine guns and at guns and such 
delivered. So all the nations get those features. All those nations have different battle groups, and they're all quite good. Or bad, depend depending on what you've chosen. You know, it could be a great choice at the time, and then you regret it a little bit later. So things like Tiger Tanks can be called out, uh, the 182, and Blitzkrieg Tactics. Some of these are passive, some of these are like upgrades for all units, and some of them are like an individual unit or reinforce uh, reinforcements, so that's pretty cool. So I like what I see here. Let's take a look at some of the maps, too. Uh, let's see what kind of uh, map mappage we're looking at. We got a few 4v4s, 3v3s, a couple of 2v2s, and 1v1s as well. There's quite a few here. Again, North Africa and Italy is the primary focus here, so a lot of these are in those locations. Winter Lion, for example, or the Gazella uh, Landing Ground, which was the map that we just played on, a large airfield. So cool that we're fighting over strategic locations and not just always generic uh, cities or whatnot. Take a look at some of the campaigns. Jump into the Italian campaign first and see if there's an intro, and we'll just kind of take a little peek at things. Let's go. It's been a while, I know. Sorry, I've never been as good with words as you. I just finished up five months in North Africa. Couldn't see a single German all the while I was there. We were training mostly, lots of marching up and down, cleaning boots, and getting yelled at. Reminded me of Fort Riley. No one knew where we were gonna end up, of course, just that we needed to be ready. One of the Brits, Roy, fed me some chocolate, we'd be heading to Italy. General Buckram arrived a couple weeks back. Seems like a decent guy. Very confident, I guess you'd call it. He doesn't like the Brit General Norton, though. They're like oil and water. Buckram's mood got worse every time he talked to him, and we bore the brunt of it. Nearly wore my fingers to the bone cleaning my damn rifle. Roy got his chocolate a couple weeks back. We're off to Sicily. I was glad to be away from the heat. Not so glad to be wandering around the Mediterranean hoping the German subs wouldn't find us. We all breathed a sigh of relief when they announced we were finally headed to dry land. Captain McKay's here. Gives me some confidence that at least one person knows what he's doing. Well, I guess it's nearly time to leave, so I'd better go find somewhere to sit. I'll try to write more. If I can. Love always. Joe. Oh, move, damn. Move, move. All right. We've got to clear this beach before the rest of the troops can come ashore. We've got support on our flanks, but we need to take out those guns or they'll tear our ships apart. Godspeed, men. Hell yeah. A beach landing? All right. I got to say, I like that intro a lot because of the uh, how it felt a little bit like World in Conflict's intro with some of the uh, painted and animated cutscenes like that. I do really appreciate that. We've got troops pinned down by that HMG. Pull them out of there. Pinned down. down. All right. Pull out, boys. Wow, look at the landing craft here. Those defenses are tougher than they look. Oh, we got tactical pause enabled now. Oh, we just need to flank those guns. Let's pull up on the left side. Yep. Oh, engineers too. Yep. Yeah, let's get the engineers going. Awesome. All right, Italy, here we come. All right, finish them off, boys. Those flamethrowers rip and dip. Let's go. All right, keep the pressure up. And let's advance to heavy cover. Hit him with the flank. Grenades, you too. Look at that, baby. And flames coming out of the bunker. Hit him with the grenade. Flame them out, boys. Oh, guns up in the city, too. Wow, truck exploded. Nice, we can use some of the environment to our advantage with explosions. Clear out this beach. Why? 
Okay, we're gonna push up and eliminate these guns. There's the other gun. Get in the cover, boys. Get a grenade up there. Oh, nice. Yep, get them out of there. Oh, they got flamethrowers too. Unfortunately for them, their flamethrowers are in heavy cover. Oh, and so are we. <laughs> Throw a grenade, boys. Keep those guys off us. Yeah. Come on, boys. Get a grenade up there. All right, cool. Cover. We're completely outnumbered here and outgunned, but we're pushing. All right, we're good. Uh, flamethrower on that gun. Let's go. Into cover. Yeah, they are. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> this is good, man. The first time I've seen this mission, I like what I see. Love me a beach landing. Right, men. Now, the beach is secure and we have a headquarters. You'll need to push up into the town. Crowd forces are going to be dug in deep, so expect heavy resistance. The town square is the key. We capture that, and Jell is ours. Airborne troops are on the way. Things will get a bit easier when they get here. Try to stay in one piece until they arrive. The locals are doing what they can to fight back. Your main goal is the town square. All right. Good luck, men. Wow. The traditional uh, cutscenes with the map and the... Uh... Right. We've got a base of operations set up on the beach oh. but we still need to take the town and clear out the enemy forces i know for some of you this is your first time under fire just remember why we're here and you'll do fine got the word you got it sir all right we got to capture jella let's go for that fuel point first because america the beach is secure we've been able to bring in some new equipment time to put it to good use look alive boys we're up. all right we're going to capture this right flank first yeah, I like the uh, the map cutscenes. That's definitely traditional. Got scouting squads. Increased line of sight. I want more infantry if we can. Now we're kind of close to our uh, cap, so let's just go with what we got. Come on, well, let's advance up the street. That couldn't possibly be mined or booby trapped at all. Okay, we got infantry in the building. Get to cover, grab that building, let's go. Knock, knock. Our airborne troops were blown off course and they've landed nearby. Let's go find them before the crowds do. Oh, do we have a secondary objective? Oh, yeah, we do. Establish an aid post. We have to do that with a scout group, maybe? Yeah, that works. Oh no, we have to do it on the point, similar to the British. Okay. Sometimes the mechanics are a little different between each group. They all get medical supplies, but it's different on how it's built. Now let's cancel that group. Alright, push up to the intersection. All right, can our flamethrowers get into this building? They have to go around. Nice. Oh yeah, they're giving up real quick. They're running. All right, let's push up. Oh. Armored car. Fools. You fools. All right, out onto the streets. Some Germans here. Oh, there's our airborne. Eliminate those troops. Shift 
Enemy HMG up ahead. Oh, fall back. Press the HMG. Into cover. Get on with it. Okay, aid point. Aid point's going to have to be here. So, uh, yep. Selecting conferred to an aid point there. Let's get the engineers up. Looks like the tank's having a little trouble. Airborne rescued. Good job, boys. Thanks, Corporal. <laughs> we thought we were going to miss out on all the fun. You're welcome. Now let's go find those crowds. And let's eliminate the MG so we can advance there later, possibly. We're locked. Come on, let's get this show on the road. On our way, sir. Push in and peek at what they got. Not a lot of cover here. We're going to need that tank. The crumbled. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Friendlies are here. Okay, we can advance. Keep that formation tight. Lines up, helmets up. Get up there, boys. You men, get ready. All right, boys. Advance. Stay alert. What's up? You're going down, Jerry. Open fire on those assholes. Don't do it, boys. Grenades out. All right. Get those grenades going. Oh, never mind. Cancel that. Nice. Alright, MG eliminated. Cut off those reinforcements. Heads up, men. The crowds have got an anti tank gun and a heavy machine gun defending the road ahead. Alright, fall back. We're going over here. To aid station. Right, that's the aid post constructed. We can reinforce and heal from there now. That should make our advance a little easier. Get on with it! Go. All right. Oh, we're capturing two. Don't worry about that later. Eliminate those MG teams. Ready for deployment, Man down! Man down! Oh, yeah, they're running. Oh, finally. All right, man. Stand by. Come on, move your asses. Find cover. All right, into the building. Let's capture this. Additional infantry advance. Let's go. Other oh, supplies. I'll get it later. Alright, we're going to capture some buildings here and split up their fire. Alright, Sherman can peek out. Eliminate the AT gun. Oh, they're thinking twice about that. Hold the line, boys. AT gun eliminated. Across the street. Get on with it. Don't stop ah, we have access to artillery now. Get to work, engineers. Go ahead and fall back a little bit. All right, let's get some paratroopers in here. And yes, I do want to use that artillery. Not yet, though. Not yet. All right, paratroopers. 
Now let's see what you could do. Uh, I love the auto reinforce. Once they reach that point, they're automatically reinforcing. Paratroopers, let's get that LMG. Since we have a tank already, we need the way to clear out infantry faster. We can call that out when we're in friendly territory. Paratroopers, get a grenade on that. Good job, boys. All right, we're almost to the town square. Capture that building on the corner. All right, let's get another paratrooper to secure this position. They're going to try to counterattack and recapture. All right, we got Italian tanks in the square. More LMGs. Get that infantry squad out of the way. Let's pound that enemy tank. Let's do it. Must be battleship artillery. Some sort of a cruiser or destroyer. Not too bad. Much better against infantry if it can't destroy a light tank. Okay. You're the flank. Infantry on the line. Good. Engineers, let's go. Let's support the tank. Enemy tank, still alive. Crowds are sending more troops into the square. He's dead. We got this. Go across the road. Get that street corner. We're losing numbers. Friendly paratroopers. Keep holding. Oh, they're counterattacking hard. That corner. I fall back. Good job, there was a sniper in there. Excellent. Oh, didn't even notice uh, that's where he was. Yeah, I think we're mostly clear here. Let's cap that square. They're pushing hard from that left side. Tanks, machine guns, and infantry coming through there. That squad held well. Have those supplies. Clean out that MG. Got to grab those bazookas there. Squad up top's got to move down. We have the town square. Jayla is ours. There's still a long way to go before we take Sicily, but it's a good start. Well done. Oh, hell yeah. Nicely done, boys. Not a bad first mission, that's for sure.
Well done. We did it. We finally took Sicily. Roy said it took 38 days. I'm not counting. I'm just grateful for the break. We lost a lot of good men. And if that wasn't enough, it looks like half the damn German army got away. They'll all be waiting for us on the mainland, no doubt. Although McKay says the Italians have had enough and surrendered. Some of them have even started trying to fight against the Germans. Not sure how effective they'll be. We'll see, I guess. We got word yesterday that the theater commander got kicked back to the U.S. and they're sending someone new. He's gonna have his work cut out for him, that's for sure. Buckram and Norton have been at each other's throats since we landed at Jayla. Roy's been taking bets on who's gonna get punched first. My money's on Norton. He's too arrogant to get us to Rome, if you ask me. Not that anyone does. McKay's got us prepping for the main op. He's still a hard ass, but if anyone can get us through this, it's him. The landing's supposed to be a tactical surprise, but everyone knows where we're headed. The Germans do too, I'd bet. Either way, that new commander's got us spread pretty thin. I hope he knows what he's doing. A more dynamic look at what seems to be Sicily below us. Welcome to Italy, Commander. Unfortunately, our British allies have allowed the Krauts to retreat to the mainland. I think you'll find, General, that the British forces played their role to perfection. Perhaps you should look closer to home for the cause of the Operation's shortcomings. Now listen here, Clarence. It was your insistence on operational prudence that got us into this situation. Commander, where General Buckram and I do agree is that we must follow the Germans and make our way to the Calabria region of Italy as soon as possible. All right, very nice. So yeah, this is uh, Sicily that we just took. The Germans are retreating north. And they're we going here, catch yeah. Them, then hit them hard. So push north and secure the region towards the south, yep. All right, so we have supply, we have manpower, munitions, fuel, and population cap, just like we would in a typical battle. Looks like we have a few things under our control. Naval and also uh, some landing forces. The British carriers here. Force is leaving for Calabria, sir. Looks like an American battleship sir, here. We're sending an advance force to Calabria to lay the groundwork for the landings at Salerno and Taranto. The company will be under your direct command. Okay, so we're going to capture objectives like Salerno. Pretty cool. So we're going to move things via company, and then this is how we'll do our battles. So we select a tank, move it to where the Germans are, and then we have a British armored focus battle versus whatever German or Italian uh, forces are there. Pretty cool. So there could possibly be naval battles in this, but I'm assuming it would be quite limited to where there could be maybe a patrol boat or an enemy destroyer. Unlikely to encounter that, but if we did, it would likely just be a quick, uh, probably auto-resolve, uh, but I think we have the advantage here. So yeah, the objective is to continue all the way north and continuously capture objectives like airfields, towns, ports, and major cities that would uh, push our uh, forces further towards the main objective. And Sicily, uh, Sicily has been taken, so our previous uh, mission was just to uh, essentially land there, and now uh, a month later it's been captured and forces are advancing British and Americans together to liberate Italy. Pretty cool. Wow, look at this. Gorgeous landscapes here. You can see vineyards and uh, like little homes and such. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, birds flying around too. Nice little details here. I, I do appreciate that, especially on a dynamic map that really doesn't matter. This is essentially just like choose your own battle. <laughs> like, for example, this bunker here, we could just probably hit it with a bombing run or a, uh, a, a beautiful battleship bombardment. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at Africa. Let's jump over to that and see how it goes. Or we could take one more look at this mission. Let's do that. All right, so uh, the previous missions that I showed, the uh, Italian landings and also that dynamic campaign start were really just a prologue to where now we get to choose uh, what we start with. So we can choose U.S. Special Forces, Airborne, or U.K. Indian Artillery. In this case, I'm going to keep it up with the uh, Airborne and see if we can keep on calling them in just to take a peek at it. The American 5th are standing by, Commander. Let's get ourselves to Rome. Rome may be our ultimate goal, General, but there is a long way to go before we reach the Colosseum. We must build a strong logistical base before advancing. The slower we move, the more prepared the crowds will be. We need to hit them early, while they're on the defensive. 
While I commend your enthusiasm, General, we must ensure our men have adequate supplies to face Germany's forces. You're welcome to stay home and cook for the men, Norton. The commander and I will see you in Rome. We're approaching Salerno, sir. The port will be crucial in establishing our presence on the mainland. I recommend a troop landing. It will give us the element of surprise. That's horseshit, Clarence. Oh, wow. The damn crowds have been targeting our convoy since we left Sicily. Let the Navy do their thing and soften up the defenses before we send the boys in. How should we proceed, sir? Ah, so we can kind of choose how things are going to go. Uh, start with the bombardment or start with the landing? Well, we could bombard, but I don't want to go in for a naval landing after that. I'd prefer to land with airborne troops. I'd like to maybe hit them with... I, I'd like a little of both. Some battleship bombardment and then troops landing behind the city. Thinking, making the enemy think that we're going to, you know, land on the beaches, and then boom, we hit him from behind with the uh, airborne troops. But let's see what it does if we start with the landing straight up. Jolly good, sir. I'll tell the men to prepare. Give the order whenever you're ready. Jolly good indeed. So the main objective to advance all the way to Rome, so we got a long way to go. Unfortunately, can't really zoom out and see more of Italy from here, but yeah, we're starting our foothold here, and then we have the option to choose to advance wherever we want, including to go to uh, wherever that... The Monte Casino? I want to do some gambling, boys. Let's let it ride. <laughs> Obviously, a strategic monastery that we have to capture later on. But uh, important objectives include the airfield and the town of Salerno and possibly this uh, fortification, too, to knock that out so we can bring more troops ashore. But yeah, so that's the start of the main campaign. A lot to do and a very small space to do it as we start, but uh, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Left-click the battleship and see if we can launch our troops from it. I'm assuming this isn't necessarily just the uh, battleship itself, although it's a South Dac uh, Dakota-class battleship. I think this is also its escort and other ships that would be with it. So, you know, it's not just a battleship and two destroyers here. It's uh, and a carrier. It's, it's got to be the whole battle group, support ships, landing ships, and more. Then we can give orders to conduct a beach landing. So, yeah, that's exactly what we do. So no bombardment, uh, which will probably save us munition, uh, but we're losing... Uh, some manpower, I think, from launching this attack. So let's land. Hey, let's land over here and take the airfield first? Or should we go straight into the town? I think if we take the town first, that'll give us a good defensive position, then we go to the airport. But then again, if we don't go to the airport, the enemy could get air uh, reinforcements against us, so they could call in uh, airstrikes on wherever. And so that begins the campaign. Oh, we can still do a battleship bombardment. We can do both. Yeah, interesting stuff. So the battles begin. After years of violent struggle against the Italian colonizers, Libya became a battlefield once again in 1940, when Italian forces clashed with the British and their allies. Then in February 1941, the Führer sent one of his favorite commanders, Erwin Rommel, to lead the newly formed Deutsches Afrika Corps. He was to help the Italians defend against the British. That was all. Less than a year later, the British were in retreat, and Rommel was driving the Afrika Corps towards Benghazi and my home. <laughs> This is our chance. Italian troops have the attention of British forces up ahead. Thanks to their efforts, we seem to have arrived unnoticed, but they will not hold on much longer. The British have fought valiantly, but this mistake will cost them the battle. It is time they learn to never take their eyes off Deutsches Afrika Corps. Panzers, with me. Push forward. We get a German campaign too. Awesome. Specifically the Africa Corps. All right. Nice. Good to see all sides. And our troops, of course, loaded up on tanks, which is new as well, which you may have seen in a previous mission. Let's do it. Panzer threes looking sexy. Fire smoke canisters to cover our advance. Uh, what now? Oh, now we got options. I forget that. Offload the troops. Uh, 
All right, into the fight, boys. Let's go. All right, flank him. Go, boys. All right, next target. Nice. Oh, more tanks. The British anti-tank gun is a formidable threat. Eliminate. Fall back. Strike. I would expect nothing less of the Africa Corps. However, the enemy is sure to send in a counterattack. Be prepared. Return to headquarters and deploy additional troops immediately. We will show the British, the Italian, and even Berlin, who is the true authority when it comes to desert warfare. Jawohl. I have studied the enemy lines and detected a weak point where our Italian allies continued to distract the British attacking from the east. We will take them by surprise by storming in and capturing two key locations. The eastern trench network, which currently prevents us from pushing northward, and the fuel depot to the northeast, which is sure to prove a vital source of support for our armed forces. We are to flank and entrap the British, then eliminate whatever troops remain before they even think of withdrawing to Benghazi. And once they do attempt a retreat, it will be too late. The Africa Corps will be waiting for them. All right, let's go. I got you. Ooh, a whole base. Nice. Oh, no more tanks for us. Pair of reinforcements. All right, we got lots of infantry. Nope. Oh, and uh, Panzer III's arriving. Nice. Grenadier squad. And Lee gun. Very nice. Very nice. Any repairs needed? A uh, little, little repair needed. Port gun being built. Nice. The push north. Truck allows us to strengthen our forces by restoring disabled vehicles. I see both a Sturmgeschütz assault gun and a Panzer with a flame projector in need of repairs. Either would be greatly useful if restored. All right. Can we get both? Well, I think I want that flame tank, honestly. That'll get him out of the trenches. Let's see, we have the options to battlefield repair, repair, and sub, uh, restore wrecked vehicle. That's what we need. Let's see if we can have the engineers assist. I love all the voice lines. Good to hear some fresh stuff. All right, repairs begin. So only the repair truck can do that. No other units for us to call out yet. And it looks like we might be able to get a doctrine at some point. Let's capture some supplies. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, and you just uh, shock it back. It's alive! It's alive! Now use the recovery vehicle to fully repair our salvage. Starting repairs on that target. Yeah, repair that thing quick. Ooh. Remember, our goal is to flank the British and cut off their escape. To achieve that, we must capture two locations. The trenches and the fuel refinery. 
Flank the Allied forces. All right, we'll go straight for the objectives. We'll cut through to the right flank, get ourselves some fuel. Enemy troops. Yeah. Fall back, boys. All right, we'll repair shortly. Let's just clean out that flank. Oh, we have tanks available. Nice. Oh, let's get a strafing run going. Oh, never mind. Ah, right, let's get the Italians up. Perfect. We need more engineers with all these vehicles. Engineers reinforced. Good job. Oh, let's push forward. AT rifle. Nice. Into the building, let's go. The gun advance. Can we repair this as well? Oh, we can get both. Okay. I thought they only wanted us to choose one, but no, we get both. Oh, it sounds like they're actually in a gas mask. Oh, whoa, whoa. Flamethrower was a right choice. At least to start with. First. Hold there. Need to see where that gun is. Oh, nice. Oh. So when a building is destroyed, no survivors. On either side. Good to note. Can we get more flamethrowers that way? Well, we could get some more tanks. We'll switch that out. All right, supply depot, but we need more uh, manpower. Use a strafing run on these guys. Just to see how it works. Oh. No more cover for them. Wow. Deleted. Boys. Good. Build up that core. Go this way. Well, we lose a squad, but we gain a tank due to the population cap. Stay alert. I see mine markers nearby. Fortunately, with the right equipment, our resourceful Panzer pioneers can detect mines and defuse them. Oh. Uh, detect and defuse mines. Let's get that going. Construct that aid post now. We're building up for the big attack. I could build another engineer squad. Let's do that. The enemy's going to have a lot of obstacles in our way, including trenches, flamethrowers, mine detectors, and more. We'll help to clear those obstacles. Wow, HE-111's destroyed all over the map. Either, uh, I think they could drop paratroopers out of that, but definitely some heavy bombing going on. Look at that. Bombs everywhere. Freighters everywhere. 
That's our ally. We'll get up there soon. Alright, clear that area. Mine sweep enabled. Uh oh. Hit him with the Lee gun. Alright, road's cleared. Oh, they're running. Ah, good, they've abandoned it. Alright, good job, boys. All right, let's get a flamethrower going. Need a little bit more resource on that. All right, advance, boys. Oh, boy. I want to put it up on the hill, but okay. They're going to counterattack. We're creating a defensive line now. What do you need? Our troops should auto reinforce here. Oh, we can call in a light tank. No chance. I'd rather have more engineers since we have so many tanks to keep them in good shape. Oh, yeah. Now AT guns and such can be towed via vehicles. And infantry could be on the back of tanks, as we saw earlier. Come on through, boys. The utility truck is in position. Assign troops to the anti-tank gun and face it north to provide the British with a proper welcome. All right, let's unload. Dismount, grab your gear. Can we push it? Not quite. All right, pull back. All right, repair that truck. Come on up, boys. Good. Very good. And we want this one, too. Now we'll use these guys as scouts. Grenade incoming. Where? No. Nope. Don't see any enemy counterattacks coming now. But they'll probably keep attacking the trenches. Continue our advance. Ooh, boy. Gonna be a doozy to get around. Punch through. Protecting themselves with artillery. Alright, push again. We got him. Oh, 
Good job, boys. Push. Alright, we got a lot of infantry here. Oof. Mortar crew. Oh, nice. Alright, I'd like another Panzer III, please. And we'll rally that on the front line. Alright, let's capture. Yeah, let's use a flamethrower at this fuel depot. That'll be fine. Area secure and enemies cornered. Come and double work. I anticipate the British will attempt to withdraw to the northwest. We, of course, cannot allow that to happen. There is a village nearby. Capture it and blockade the road to cut the enemy's escape route. <laughs> nice. The anti tank gun must be properly positioned to defend the roads to the village against the British assault. Back! Back! Back us up! Repairs completed. I guess we're pulling the gun forward now. Throw the flat gun to the village. Well, we gotta uh, break through enemy lines first. Cap that fuel. Where's our other Panzer III? All right, we got three Panzer threes and also a Flampanzer and a Sturmgeschütz. This will be fun, Smiley. Enemy infantry inside that, possibly. Can't see him yet. What? Get that truck up here. Good enough. Let's go. All right. Good. Now with that AT gun out of the way, the tank will be easy to overwhelm. The AT gun, of course, is a little bit of a problem. Oh boy. And there's an. Bigger one there, Bofors. Probably could be a 30, 30 millimeter, maybe. What do you need? Looks like you had a lucky escape. escape. Right, time time to repair. Oh, interesting. That tank couldn't see what was there and couldn't fire, but this AT gun seems to know where they are. Or the Lee gun. Okay. All right, we'll tidy things up. Anything we can capture? Probably nothing really worthwhile. Oh, good, they're dead. Okay, let's push forward and capture that hill. Make sure that train is secure. A wall of steel advances. That 
That'll make that easier. All right, let's take the hill. Flux 36 is a powerful addition to our long-range arsenal. We can tow it using our utility truck and use our mobile squads to find targets for it. I advise we set up the Flux 36 to cover the roads leading into the village. Yes, the enemy is going to advance from behind us soon. So clear out the village and then secure the rear. Craig's Marine looks like a sweet deal, yeah. Almost done. All right, let's play some mines, shall we? And with that, we have control of the village. All that is left now is to intercept and destroy the retreating troops. Set up defenses here, or take up positions along the main roads. But do not let them escape. Yeah, have will mine hair. I can do it. Okay. Oh, look at all these people. Hi, they're waving. Hi, hello. Good to see you. They're nice. Uh, there's another fuel depot there, but not really part of our objectives. Looks like our ally is advancing to possibly capture. Here they come. Fall back and repair those tanks. Oh, friendlies. Fine. Not our objective anymore. The British troops are approaching. Let us show them the power of the Africa Corps. Oh boy. All right, here they come again. I think they're taking the southern road this time. Orders, get this Artillery ready. incoming! We're not expecting trouble, right? Artillery where? Pretty much everywhere. Damn. Alright, you guys get back. There's a little uh, resupply point here. We'll take that position. Whew, that was messy. Oh, they're using smoke. Clever. Just gotta defend the road. 
Take cover! Now! Oh, let's get a cute little Italian tank up here just to say we did it. There you go, Italy. You helped. I helped, Smiley. Yeah, let's keep the vehicles out of here. Oh, good work. Oh, yeah. Italy, uh, yeah. Good good job. Yeah. The, the battle was won as soon as the Italians got here. <laughs> good job, Italy. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Wow. What a mess. In Benghazi, we'd been pulled back and forth between the Italians, the Germans, and the British for over two years. We navigated occupied life as best we could, siding with whoever was holding the city at the time. It was safer that way. But then Mussolini began forcing Jews in other parts of Libya to move to Benghazi. Some friends, men I'd grown up with, wanted me to join them and fight alongside the British Army. I didn't want to leave my family, but I couldn't just sit around and hope the war wouldn't touch us. Little look at Company of Heroes 3, both the dynamic and some of the linear campaign missions, the Africa Corps and their campaign missions, and also the dynamic stuff for the British and Americans in Italy. All sorts of cool stuff. Multiplayer and more to come soon. But again, if you want to check this one out, link down below in the description. And thanks again to the publishers for sponsoring. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Let me know what you think about the game down below, and uh, let me know what more you'd like to see in terms of a full campaign playthrough or what you think about, for example, the cutscenes. I like those because they really remind me of World in Conflict, and that's a, another pinnacle game in my book. And hopefully a full playthrough of Company Heroes 3 will end up as the same. All right, well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for all the likes, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.